Hey guys, yeah, it's not clickbait. It's for sale. Well, I might as well explain why. Yesterday, I actually almost lost the Sylvia. Um, <clears throat> there's kind of a backstory to it as well, but uh, leading up to my decision. But uh, basically, I almost got ran off the road yesterday by a semi truck going to uh, the junkyard to go look at a WRX. I ended up vlogging a lot of it after, but uh, I didn't end up posting a video yesterday just for the sheer fact that honestly I was just kind of stressed out. I had a lot on my mind, and uh, yeah, I've come to the conclusion that now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sell the Sylvia. I've literally almost lost it three times already on the accountants of really poor drivers in my area. Um, as soon as I moved here three years ago, it was actually honestly the very first significant thing that I noticed was how bad they were here as far as not paying attention, you know, coming over in your lane, you know, no signals or driving like 15 to 20 miles under the speed limit. So and it's, you know, people who try to cause accidents or not, excuse me, not try, but don't even realize they're going to cause an accident or have caused an accident. You know, can you imagine someone who's doing that slow and then all of a sudden they just come in your lane and you're doing the speed limit. So you know what that's like having to slam your brakes. I've had that happen to me so many times, but yesterday almost lost to Sylvia with a semi. Day before that, I was driving down the parkway, which is a pretty relatively busy road. Um, it's right off of my road. And uh, just driving down the road, going to see my buddy. And all of a sudden, I had a green light. I'm going through the intersection, and someone decided they wanted to run the red light. It was a little red pickup truck, you know, like a 1996, 1998 body style. Crank windows, two-door, maroon. And he pulled right out in front of my lane. And he honestly didn't even try stopping, he just kept going, so I understand. it was literally like the first time I've ever had to drift that Sylvia. And I don't beat that thing, man. I'm talking, I drive it like an old man half the time. So, I mean, if I'm going to accelerate, I wait till the car's moving, I don't do launches in it, I don't, you know, the car is amazing and immaculate. And it really irritates me that I go out of my way to preserve a classic, and I'm honestly probably just going to get it taken away from me. From somebody else so it's so much stress on me I mean honestly I do my best to keep that thing going and I have the ability to do it so I do it I love that car guys I pay payments on that I have a loan on that I pay payments every month on that I love that car if something breaks on it I've got to fix it if something happens to it I've got to fix it yes I have the ability but here's the number one key it's only original once. Well, here she is. Um, so, as I was saying, day before, I almost lost it with the uh, semi. Day before that, I almost lost it to the Toyota pickup truck. So they wanted to run a red light. And then, uh, if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys watched me fix the 240 and unturbo a Civic back to an NA. Well, long story short, uh, they ended up having a roommate move in type deal and it was late at night I was working there they asked me if I could move the Sylvia and I said sure no problem I no longer jumped in the car and I was directly behind her pickup truck so she asked me I jumped in I hadn't even had a chance to even start the car yet and she was already coming in reverse straight towards basically this view here so her, all I saw was taillights and reverse lights as I'm looking at it from the driver's side, looking out this window, freaking out. So I started blaring my horn as hard as I could, beep, 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 you know, and just freaking out. I didn't even have the car started yet, and she's already reversing into me. And uh, the guy who owns the Civic, thank God he was at the shop that night, he yelled, stop! And uh, the driver ended up stopping, and when she did, I, got, I, I finally jumped out of the car. She was literally, the bumper was like 
this close to the car. It was so freaking close. She almost just destroyed this thing. So, three days in a row, I almost lost this car. From her backing into it to almost getting annihilated by a Toyota pickup truck, you know, head-on collision, to being ran off the road by a semi-truck on the third day. So, yeah, I, I didn't vlog yesterday, guys. Or, excuse me, I did, but I didn't post anything. I had a bad day yesterday. It was stressful. So, while being ran off the road, I got, I ran over two cones, road cones. Um, it's hard to see. I mean, it's very minimal damage. But, uh, you can see it right there. See this right here? It cone ran over. It slapped the side right here. And it did a little scuffing. You can still see a little bit of the... I'm not sure if this was already there or not, but I doubt it. You know, there's... Uh, just irritating that something like that happened. You know, and then another cone. It's, it's right there. Right on the side of my fender. You know, two little pingers and this little freaking mark here. It's like... Uh, I can't take this anymore, you know, I park in the nosebleed section to try and make sure nobody parks near my car, I'll walk a mile to go into the store, I don't care, you know, I even had some idiot at Walmart, you guys haven't watched my videos, you guys don't know when this happened, some idiot did this, I parked in the nosebleed, and I come back and I got a dinger in my quarter panel, first thing I see, this is my driver's side, you know, I mean, to most, this is a passenger side, this is my driver's side, I'm walking up to my car, I see that, and there's no car in sight. He's already done it and left. I I don't know if the car's jinxed, you know, and I hate to put that curse on you guys if that's what it is, but I will tell you this right now. Everything works. This is a 1990. This is a completely original car. I really, really love this car. I do not molest it. I do not beat it. I do have rims and tires for it. They're three-piece work rims. They're like 2,500, three grand or so. So, I mean, it's, I have a lot into the car. Um, if you guys are, in, are interested, let me know. Comment below. So, this is the engine bay. I do keep it extremely clean. Um, I went ahead and I put a voltage stabilizer on it. That way, at all times, it stays above 12, even when parked. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, I did an install on that, so go ahead and check out my video if you haven't already seen that. But, uh, you know, I do keep it very, very, very clean. I really meticulously go through this. You guys can still see it still has the paper gaskets that go in between the struts. I mean, everything on this is completely original. It's only got 80,000 kilometers, which means uh, relatively like 50,000 original miles. Um, I just did my first oil change on it. I've only driven the car for about 2,000 miles. Uh, the car came into the States uh, about 79,000 kilometers or so. It's got 80 or 81,000 kilometers, something like that. So, Other than that, um, that's the engine bay. Uh, the only thing that I have done, guys, is I put a uh, Gretti Type S blow -off valve on there. Um, I painted it all heat temp black so it kind of just blends in there really well. You know, and I took the uh, the recirculative um, vent uh, for the vacuum, and I just ran it up there, you know, kind of as clean as possible, and made it look as stock as possible, and uh, tapped it in on the back side of the manifold. You know, it works very well. It sounds really good. You know, I just tried going as clean as possible. I did have it TIG welded, so it's a really nice stack of coins all the way around. You know, I don't like junk on the car. Um, it has an Isis cap back on it. It's the dual tip uh, straight muffler, or excuse me, muffler delete. So it's just the dual tips. It is loud. Um, I do have a video where I go through the whole car, guys. So again, you guys can go back on my channel and uh, check that out. I believe it's called Changing My Content is the name of the video. And uh, click on that and you guys can really see a whole overview of this. I really go through everything. That's why I'm not going to go through everything now. Right now, because it's for sale, I'm going to buff this entire car out. I'm literally going to take every spider, scratch, or any kind of imperfection that I can possibly get out and make this paint 
shine like brand new again because you know how people are when they're buying things they come here and they want to kick my tire and uh you know and, and basically be tire kickers and try to break me down on my price but i know exactly what the car's worth you know in my eyes i think the car's worth 15k all day i'm not gonna ask that um honestly i'm gonna price it to sell i'm probably only gonna ask like 10k firm that's where i'm at guys i'm only asking for ten thousand dollars for this car yeah it's a lot of money it's a lot of cash to a lot of people but honestly it's it, the car's turnkey there's no issues the only issues i can say are the outside of the car you know like these little nicks and scratches these are the things that people have done to me since i've owned the car that little pinger there getting ran off the road and getting the pinger inside a little fender here and then over there from the other the uh, road cone so I'm, I'm tired of this I, I i'm at the point now where it's either i keep the car and that, that was my decision keep it and just sand the whole car down and go crazy with this go like wide body and you know and just probably throw another 10k into it but at that point it's i'm really going to be neglecting what's under that tarp right there and honestly those here are what i love the most i'm a subaru guy um you know so i mean i'm sorry that if you know you subscribe to me if you're you know it's all about the sylvia but uh i'm a i'm a cars with the stars kind of guy you know i like the subarus i really love doing these i like to you know to dedicate myself to to taking you know uh, something that's like that and then turn it into this so um yeah i mean uh this is something i like to do and i was really thinking about going you know ham like i did on this on this but i rather order a four thousand dollar body kit from united kingdom and get my 22b full lightweight conversion and make this whole car fiberglass you know fiberglass quarters fiberglass skirts rockers you know fenders everything rip the roof off make a carbon fiber hood or you know carbon fiber roof i, I plan on going ham on this car honestly guys i'll be buried in this car i've had this car for a long time i'll never sell that car so i mean that's a one of 700 world rally blue two-door you know it's it's 74f is the paint code guys it's real it's five speed it's already swapped to uh, wrx i did all the work everything's done to that it's only got 93,000 original miles on the engine and drivetrain. I swapped everything over. So that car, when it starts, it literally still thinks it's a WRX. And uh, just attached to a two-door that's relatively lighter. Um, those are not my wheels. Those are my buddy's XT wheels. I just let him borrow my 18s to put them on his GF body. He, uh, he did a, a GC8 front-end conversion here. Uh, you guys want to check that out as well you guys can go back and, and check that out um but he's rocking my rims so it makes his car look nicer until basically i start putting the attention back to this you know i'm just i'm a good buddy you know what, what's it gonna hurt for for me to put the wheels on there and uh, help him out but other than that back to the sylvia i'm gonna buff this thing out i'm gonna make her shine you know i don't want any issues i don't want anybody you know tire kicking my car because honestly the car sells itself you drive it you're gonna want it so uh yeah 10ks where uh where i'm at i'm firm on it honestly that's that's breaking even on the car so yeah i hope you guys like it let me know shoot me a comment below and uh if you're really interested the uh, rumble garage email i'll go ahead and put it above right now and uh you guys can shout an email to that thanks guys